Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Claw by Claw. Uh, this is Tracy here. And so we're on iCatch right now, and this is uh, for the Lucky Bags. So these Lucky Bags, there's 30 of them, and 5 of them have Nintendo Switches. Uh, obviously iCatch is from Japan, as you see in the lettering. Um, it's one of the main competitors uh, against Toriba. So basically, simple setup, trying to get the box through the ground, and uh, you win the Lucky Bag. And I think the lucky bag will be just random, so you have no idea who would win this, uh, some sort. So you just get a lucky bag, and just hopefully you got a Nintendo Switch. Uh, so right now, uh, this is the setup on the front side here. So it looks pretty good. Uh, I think you just need a couple pivots, um, and you should be good to go. It's not as difficult eye catch as as Toriba. Um, sometimes they set it up. Um, but what I heard recently from other people who play this is that, ooh, that's a good pivot right there. So what I heard from others uh, who played on iCatch is that um, it, it was kind of decent pricing they had. Um, it was a little bit cheaper and much better than Toriba. As some say, I do not have uh, a clear opinion on it of some sort. But now with the figures and such, they jack up the prices and... It's people. I think the on and off on it, but uh, there are other systems as well. But uh, iCatch has been one of the better alternatives, uh, for some opinion, on uh, uh, against uh, Toriba. So right now, so the, this one they pivot back to the box and uh, yeah, back to that position again. So I guess they're trying to pivot into the hole here. All right, so coming, coming again. All right, trying to pivot this over. All right, going to the front side of it, and lift it. Uh, some lift, not bad, not bad lift. Yeah, there's some potential. There's some potential there. So, yeah, this this one. This call plays fair, so it's not rigged or anything, as some accuse on Toriba, so Toriba. Alright, so they're going to the back end here, so trying to sweep the leg. Oh, they did, and it flipped over. It didn't do, like, the pivot, but it flipped over. Eh, not that bad. It's not, not the best position, not the best move, but not a terrible move. S still a solid move. It, there was movement, so if you see movement on... On these, it's pretty good, and that's normal to any play, either Toriba, Eye Catch, other ones. So, all right, so they're going to the middle part of it, front of that front bar over there. Ugh, nothing there. All right, yeah, and as you see, if you know someone's playing, you will see the light up uh, button right there. So they make the first move, that we move left to right, and then. Up and down here. Alright, so here we go. Alright, front bar. Let's see if anything goes. Ooh! Ooh! ooh. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. I gotta admit to that. Okay, so here we go again. Um, Alright, going to top and see how this goes. And nothing there. So they're trying to, now this play, I think now they're trying to move the top of the box here. And then move this bottom part uh, closer inside that inside part of the bar here. So, here we go again. Oh, they go going to the mid part middle part of the box interesting all right so it is moving up and lifting a little bit and did my screen froze I have no idea what happened but it's, oh look at those two lights it's blinking there was an error oh my word there was an error message oh it aired out oh so it is literally a cliffhanger here. So 
and we got shut down to it. So, or uh, going back into it again, still, it's still there. Let's see what it does. Where any help on this one? Anyone? Bueller. 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 Yeah, there's the hand of God making some adjustments, pushing it. Oh, there it is. At least they didn't push it in to help the person. But uh, yes, uh, so oh, that was very interesting. And the car is just acting weird now, dipping it, going one corner, going to another way, going this way, going four corners. Yeah, that that was strange. That was strange. So, and the person's not giving up. I think the person they, they really are close. So they're going back to the middle part of the box. See, look, look at the the top of the clock. It's tipping over the box a little bit. And no, yeah, it's staying up. It didn't make any uh, slight movement to the left on, on this angle there. So, ugh. Let's see. Alright, here we go. Alright, so just tapped on the one, move to the two. This one this one's a little bit more forward. Oh, it's lit. That top of the car is lit. What the heck is that? Uh let's see here. And oh my god, it aired again. It aired again. Wow. Wow, second time, second time, wow, oh man, I mean, I would say this person might be persistent in this case, wow, uh, any help here, alright, here's the hand of God, oh, another adjustment, and, yep, yeah, and we gotta do the four thick corners. I'm gonna skip to that one. Alright, here we go. We moved ahead to the force. Oh, shut down. Oh, going back in. This is why I don't like about eye catch is that they shut down quickly. Like, I mean, people want to watch. Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, that person missed. But I don't know why they shut it down like after three to four minutes. Like, five minutes. It's not an activity. Or people. Now, people can videotape this, and people can see it, and that's totally fine, but I'm not sure why they shut down um, the video. People want to see the whole play. They want to reserve. They want to win. Of course, you can do different setups, but that's just kind of weird why they did that. All right, so the box, ooh, scoot back a little tightly bit, I believe. Still nothing there. Um, so they're definitely trying to move this part here. Into the inside board. Alright, here they go again. Alright, inside. Alright, oh, they're going to the mid part of it. S slid. Uh, don't know how this is going to work. Oh, so it lifted up, push it up a little bit, and then look, it's now it's in the inside of the board. So it's prime to go down. Now, just to let you know why it helped. Why the inside bore? So, and it lifted up, but this board helped it support the box to stay in the position and then can slide a little bit. So this board is saving this box from its position. All right, here they go again, close to it, nothing there. All right, so the person's getting close. I think, yeah, you might go top. And since this claw is very fair, they can use the inside, uh, they can use the claw, one of the arms and push it down if need be. Alright, so they're going to the front here. I mean the back. So, going top side here. Any movement? Ooh, ooh, that did nothing. So, I assume they might now go to the middle or in the front here to push the just get into good position here so you might also want to poke it if you want to poke it to this area here 
to where the bar and the box meet. But we'll see. Alright, so, oh, the top of the card touches the corners of the box. Same thing. I think it's going to just slightly bit, but I think it's in the same position. So, yeah, I think, yes, yeah, since this bar is supporting it, I think you might want to go in the front, just lift it a little bit, and see how it goes. Or you can try to stab this area where the bar and the corner of the box meet. And I believe they're doing that. And... I think I just... I had a weird angle on that one. Okay, so here we go. I think this is the same one. It's just giving me a different weird angle. Okay, so here we go. There's the push. Oh! It's going down. It's going down. It's just holding up. This is... That's the finality right there, and that's it. And congratulations to that person winning one of the 30, one out of the 30 lucky boxes over at iCatch. So that's that. Um, so I'll see you all next week with another episode. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>